Yo, what is going on YouTube? Okay, this video right here is gonna be me teaching y'all how to throw a bait cast that have internal brakes and a bait cast that don't have internal brakes. So the um the rear, I'm gonna start off with the brakes that don't have the internal brakes. So this is more like the I'm not gonna say the cheaper, it's like the mid-range reels, but you could get a um you could buy some cheaper reels that basically the same, they don't have internal brakes. But um this dial right here. I actually just got it. This is probably like my fourth dower. I don't have many of these. I'm more like a Shimano guy that have internal brakes. But um, I might have start off with this rear right here. You guys see that little dial right there? That's the only brakes that have and a little um, tension knob. Tension knob and D brakes right here. So I'm about to put my chest cam on and show you guys how to throw this baby. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with this baby right here. Okay, first thing you need to do, make sure your bait is not free dropping. See, that's 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 too fast for a beginner. So you want to do tighten this tension knob up so the bait won't move just like that. Turn your brakes all the way to max. Start off with the max setting for the brakes. So next step, you want to just Turn the tension knob till it get, till it start dropping super slow. About all the right. A little too fast for a beginner, so about right there. See, that's perfect right there. So my back, my brakes is maxed to, well, if you have a dial one to 20, and my tension knob just now barely slow dropping. And you wanna just cast this thing. You're not going to get a burn nest. You're not going to get a burn nest on the settings I show you. So, so basically, this settings right here is just for like a beginner that's that's now just learning how to throw a bait caster. So I'm gonna cast it out a couple more times so you guys can see. You would not get a burn nest with this. I'm throwing it harder I can. No burn nest. You see it? No burn nest. Guys, you guys got the, the beginner um, settings. Turn your tension knob until it drop really, really slow and turn your brakes to max. Okay, this settings, what well, I'm about to show you guys right now, that's basically like somebody like me and somebody that fish every day and somebody that knows about freaking bait casters. So I started number 10 and worked myself all the way to where I really want to get it from 10 to zero. Well, I'm not going to use zero because zero is, is going to be too free spoon. But turn my tension knob out a little bit you see how slow it dropping i want to turn it so it'll take probably like three seconds to drop one two okay two seconds good so i keep it at number 10 turn my tension knobs so show the whip take about two seconds to drop to the um the water so that's about perfect the match range for this um this bait caster oh yeah look at that and look how far that, that lunch a square bill. Basically start at number 10 and um a two second drop. And I'm new to the dials right here. So really, really simple. So now I'm about to start with the the um internal brakes with the rise with a little more stuff inside. This is a Corrado K. I had a Corrado DC, I had a um, SLX DC. Man, it's nothing on the market that would beat this right here, dealing with the price. This this like a, this is a $200 rod. This is a $200 reel and the um, Corrado DC is like almost 270. Man, that's that's just that's just $70 you're wasting basically. This reel right here would cast farther than a DC. And I'm just letting you guys know for the experience. So how to set these settings right here to the beginning Okay, you want to click all the brakes on. So how to click them on is out. Push them out. So all the brakes in here is working right now. So turn that on. You want to um, basically do the same exact thing. That's a little too fast for a beginner right there. Perfect. Okay, and this have the, um, the other set of brakes too, so Keep the settings on the bottom at number four. I don't care what you're throwing, keep it at four. So I got all the brakes out and the tension all probably drop, probably like a four second drop. One, two, three, four. 
yeah probably like a four second drop so basically just you're not gonna get a burn ass i'm telling you guys you is not gonna get a burn ass so see this thing how hard you want to and work yourself from there Ugh. you're not gonna get a burn ass i don't care what reel you're using i don't care you got a walmart reel or you have a freaking bass pro shot reel i don't care you're not gonna get a burn that's on basically how i'm like putting the beginner settings you is not gonna get a burn that so if you're a beginner and you use this settings you is not gonna get a burn that's unless you hook unless you hook the chair hook the back of your boat or hook your friend in the head you is not going to get a um burn ass i don't care what you're throwing watch this look at that no burn ass so um the settings i use for this let me go ahead and show y'all right fast so the settings i use for this um crowd okay because this have internal brakes i flip let's get inside this thing right fast okay i flip one two i flip two back in two in two out this is my go-to settings throwing any type bait throwing a crankbait deep diver chatter bait freaking cinco this is my go-to settings and i want to probably like a two second drop so probably like a one and a half to be honest one about just like that like a one and a half drop so i'm gonna need my thumb so let's launch this thing look at that oh my god now that is a three eighths ounce chatter bait not a half ounce three eighths and you see how far that went from there there to there all in the settings i just show y'all it's mind blowing people make bait castles seem like they so hard to freaking throw they are easy they are easy to throw so let's launch this thing one more time once again my brace is i got two out and two in if you have the crowd okay two out two in i got the bottom to four and probably like a a um let me see like a second and a half drop second and a half drop so let's watch this thing oh my gosh guys look at that that's incredible i'm gonna show you guys one more um one more reel this is more like the cheaper brand probably like 80 dollars more like the cheaper end reels so if you guys have like some of the cheaper brands i'm about to show you guys the settings for that let's pick this baby right here up all right guys this is more like a cheaper cheaper reel that average person like an average person have this is like a hundred dollar combo you could get from walmart i think the reels are like seventy dollars and the rise probably like thirty dollars but um the beginner settings for this basically do the same exact thing have it to max see this one go up to 10 then max have it to max make sure what you want you want to see it go down a little bit and stop it stop it you guys got that so let's do it again it's going down and stop it one more time it's going down and you want to stop it about right there right there so this settings right here you will not get a burn nest i don't care how hard you launch it i don't care what you do to it unless you hook somebody in the head once again your chair or your boat let's launch this thing right now guys i don't care how hard you swing it i don't care how hard you swing it you're just not gonna get a bird nest you guys see that this thing hard as crap look where i'm at and look at this and i didn't use my thumb did not use my thumb so that's it guys let me switch y'all back to my other camera oh, hey guys i show y'all the cheap version the mid reel and more like the more expensive almost like 250 dollars reels hey it's simple guys and put this rod down it's simple most people make this bait caster thing super super hard it's not hard guys it is not hard use them settings i gave you and you will not get a bird nest. I don't care what kind of reel you got. I don't care how strong you is. You can sling that thing how hard you want to. 
get it where you where you wanted to go at basically that's it that's it guys but um the more advanced settings you will need your thumb so when you use them settings make sure you work yourself for max to that level then more to the zero range but yeah guys this is gonna be it dealing with how to throw a bait caster i just gave you all my um tips and freaking experience everything about bait cast how to throw it so hey this is gonna be the end of the video i will catch you guys in my next video peace